Well, hello once again from MakingMoneyFromJunk.com. I'm here today to talk about uh, some various little things I found uh, that I've, I've found ways of improving its value by removing material, and uh, that's something that, that I found really interesting. Thought hey, probably you'd like to know a little bit more about that too. So, what I've done is I have a, a big pile of these LED or LCD, sorry, LCD uh, displays that I got out of a I don't know pile of junk that I bought. And uh, there was a whole bunch of these. I said, well, as it's by itself, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, looks like some a, a bit of gold on the board. Certainly there's some gold pins here. And it may be uh, gold on what they call the solder mask. So uh, by itself, it becomes a, a pretty low-grade board because there's no real components here, but there's a lot of heavy material that something doesn't seem right with that. It's a lot of metal. So what is it? what I have to do to take that off and let me just check it out and see where I go. Well, I started looking at it. It's pretty simple to take it off uh, these little pins here in this particular case. And, of course, you'd want to look at any material that you have for that. But uh, these happen to have just little... Uh, they, the metal has been brought through here and twisted. So all I had to do was just straighten them up. And I've got one over here that uh, so I don't have to take so much time on. But, well, actually, this one's coming up pretty quick. Maybe I'll just work with it. And... Um, yeah, let's just do that. I'll just work with the one that I'm, I've got here. And I then just remove this top. And it comes off pretty simple. Let's get a screwdriver in there underneath it. And that comes off. And then this needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. Uh, this little bit in here taken out. And then I can throw that in the metal pile. And the glass can go over in the glass recycling. And so there, there goes that part. But let's get to the part that's got the good money. And we pop this little thing, and I've done enough of them that obviously uh, I've found that this is really good. But look at all the nice gold underneath that, and um, the the whole board has contacts of gold, and it does look like it's a solder mask that is all gold. So this is going to be a real good one to process in, probably with gold fingers, uh, something like that. It's going to be a pretty easy thing to process. So that's going to go in my keeper box, that's for sure. And then there's a little piece here. This goes in the plastic recycle. And then this little piece also has quite a bit of gold under it. It's got some kind of a gel here or something. But all this down here is some little dots, and all that is gold as well. So this is going to be some real good things to recover with. And look what I did is I got rid of a, a bunch of metal and stuff and I took this into a much higher grade and of course this is now now became a, a keeper one in, in fact not even just a, a reseller necessarily uh, but it, if you sold it this would be certainly go into the high grade board and uh, uh, this piece probably would as well so I found another one here that uh, uh, this LED or LCD I keep saying LED I got a whole bunch of LEDs in another load over there that I'm going to uh, probably do a video on, but this is an LCD monitor, and it had a card on the back. And as you can see, again, nice gold traces, and uh, could be the whole solder mask is is gold. And when you pull it out, we come up with just this card, and you look at the card, and you go, well, that's nice, but it's got all this heavy stuff over here, and so probably that's going to have to go, unfortunately, in the mid-grade card. And, uh, and the, the, to sell it as, as a mid-grade card. If you look, there's a lot of good gold on here, uh, on the back as well. It's nice, but it's got this heavy stuff. You can't sell it as a high-grade card. But I looked and I said, hey, I can see a little space under there. So I just took my little screwdriver and said, let's just get rid of that. And so I take that piece off and this piece off. And now what I've done is I got rid of the heavy stuff and I took a card that was worth about, I, I double checked on my pricing a while ago, it's worth anywhere from, um, well, just let's say the range was about 15 cents, and we took it to a, about a 27 cent card, so we pretty much doubled its value by removing stuff that this now can go over into my breakage pile, and I can sell it to my local scrap dealer for, oh, 20, 30 cents a pound, maybe whatever it is, but it took this stuff from from being a mid-grade card to being a high-grade card, and just by removing material. 
So a really valuable piece of information. Always look for those kinds of things. Uh, you know, if, if you were selling me this card, uh, you would have just doubled its value by removing that weight, and you know, I'd, we'd both be happy. That's the way that works out. So, uh, making money from junk. Uh, we are buying cards. Uh, recently, uh, got into that business, and we're we're now buying all this kind of uh, circuit boards and uh, your computer cards and things like that. So, contact us if you have any questions. Uh, we are also working on getting you a refiner. We've been having lots of questions about that. So watch the videos, makingmoneyfromjunk.com, get the ebook. Uh, lots of things happening. We're always constantly bringing you new information. So just keep watching. Thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you next time, makingmoneyfromjunk.com.